Hi there, my name is Yurai and today we look at how to update TPM firmware on your HP. First of all, make sure your BIOS is up to date. So to find out your current version of BIOS, open system information, find a line called BIOS version, date field and compare the number on your HP support page for your device. And if the version match, then you don't need to update. If they don't, you need to update before proceeding. Then you need to find the current TPM version. There's two easy ways. One is via command prompt. Just type in get dash TPM. This will give you the version or specification, uh, manufacturer and all the details. So ours is 1.2. or you can find it via the MMC console by adding snapping called TPM. Make sure you add it for your local machine, local computer. Confirm and expand and then you can spe specific version as well, it's 1.2. So before you proceed you need to disable BitLocker or you may lose your data so just turn off, you can go via control panel as well, it's the same thing, just make sure it finishes completely and do it for any other drives. Then clear your TPM password. Again go to MMC and click clear TPM, your computer will automatically restart, then confirm. Download the TPM tool, update, I'll Put the link in the description below. This is for the older systems. For newer systems you'll find it directly on the driver's page. There is usually a TPM download tool specific for each of the computer. Okay, let's install it. By default it will be in SW setup folder on your C drive. That's where HP puts all their software. This one is SP81900, the first one. Okay, I'm changing the system here, don't worry about that. So the way it works, you've got firmware and you can jump from partial version 1.2, which is Windows 7 if that's what you want, or from 1.2 to 2.0 and there's versions within that as well. We have the latest 1.2 and we copied that uh, into the folder above where the TPM config 64 is located. Then we launch that application and it'll tell us from what version we're going to which version. We confirm and it'll reboot for us. If you put another wrong version, it will not work. You can also go down from 2.0 to 1.2. Okay, confirm at the reboot. You only need to do this twice. It'll update it, as you can see. Press OK, it'll reboot again. And now we can confirm that the TPM version is correct. Let's do it via Command prompt first or PowerShell. This time it doesn't give us the specification, but the version is 7.62.12.1384, which was the latest one. In MMC, it'll tell us exactly if we load up that snap in. TPM, local computer. PM and you can see specification version is 2.0. So we do have the latest one available for our computer. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.